Safari hidden features you didn't know exist. If some websites keep auto-playing ads or videos when you don't want them to, there's an easy fix. When you land on a website like this, you can simply go to Safari and click settings for this website. A new window will pop up where you can permanently block auto-playing by selecting auto-play and pressing never auto-play. And if you're a student, use the command plus F shortcut to search up for any word or phrase in the website that you are on. That way you will save a lot of time when trying to quickly find information. Speaking of clean information, to stop ads on your Safari web browser on your MacBook, simply head to the App Store and search for Adblock for Safari. The app is free, so click Get and then Install. This extension will always be enabled on your Safari browser and you can enjoy ad-free browsing. With all the ads gone, if you prefer to have your Safari look even more clean and minimalistic, click on Safari, select Preferences, go to the Tabs section and select Compact. This will declutter your Safari tab bar and give you some extra screen real estate to work with. To save time, maybe there's a special website that you just can't stop going to. Go to Window and click Pin Tab. Now every single time that you open your Safari browser, the pinned tab will be there and you will have quick and easy access to that special website. Speaking of quick access to websites, to change the home page on Safari from the default empty page to Google, click on Safari in the top menu bar, then select Preferences. In the General tab, next to New Windows Open With, select Home Page from the drop-down menu. Also select Home Page from the next drop-down menu next to New Tabs Open With. Then type Google.com in the box next to Home Page. And now every time you open up your Safari, Google will be the default home page. And if you made some other browser your default one, go to System Preferences, click General, and you will see the default browser setting here. Click the default web browser pop-up menu and choose Safari to set it back to default. To see your browsing history in Safari, simply choose History on the top menu bar and select Show All History. Here you will find all the available browsing history in your Safari browser. Click Clear History to clear your Safari's browsing history. Now you can create groups for your tabs to better organize your browsing experience. If you want to create a new group for your tabs, select the drop-down arrow at the top left of Safari and choose either New Empty Group or a new tab group with the current open tabs. To allow cross-site tracking and cookies on your Safari browser, come up to Safari in your menu bar and select Preferences. Then click the Privacy tab. Deselect the Prevent Cross-Site Tracking button to allow cross-website tracking. To allow cookies on your browser, each website will ask you for your permission to use cookies. If you want to allow cookies to be used, simply hit Accept on the website's pop-up box. 